Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you six different ways to make viral stairs in SketchUp and we're going to start right away so let's not lose any time. We'll start with the first the beginner method, something that uh, a guy who just um, uh, stumbles upon SketchUp would do, uh, the most famous and beloved push-pull tool. So let's see uh, how what we do this. So we just select our face, we want to push-pull and we would type 18 as our height right here and we would do the same thing with all the other steps 18 18 so this is the beginner's method the problem with this method is that it's quite destructive and all and all geometry is uh, on its own and so if you change one step the others will not change and also you will have this uh, area below the stairs that would be closed unless you do something like this and and then it gets all crazy and it's difficult and you you need to delete this face and this face then what do you do with the, the, the things in the back and so this is not the best method obviously but it's something that uh, would come to mind to a beginner. So let's start uh, with the method that I personally use the most because it takes a little bit more of time but it actually gives you the best results and it's not destructive so you can change some of the shapes of the stairs uh, if you want to uh, maybe further on uh, in the development of the project. So what do I do? I make the first one like this And I move it on the blue axis uh, 18, like the other ones. Okay, and then I make a component. I call it step. And then I, I extrude it if I want, or maybe even no. But then what do I do with this? So this is a step. And it's going to be the same for every, every other step we have here. So how, what, how do I do this? I actually um, rotate it, but pressing the control key so that I get a copy. And then when I created one copy, I just type X, the number of the steps I need to finish the stairs. And it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I've got my five steps. And then unfortunately this is not the best option here, but I'm going to show you another thing in just a second. Then I move them all up. Then I deselect this one and move the other ones up. Then I select, deselect this one and I move the other ones up. And I do the same thing for all the other steps. And uh, what's the uh, so this is practically the same thing we did here, but. Uh, this one is easier to edit or to change because now these steps are all the same components so if i want i can make i can make i can close the shape like like this way let's just smooth shape this one And now I've created a slope just by editing one, one component. And it looks kind of cool. And that's not the only thing that I can do. I can also make, uh, I can also make like a full railing. Like just trying to make it parallel to this one. Okay. Extrude it up 90 and then do this and let's smooth straight also this one look at this and we've created also railing 
And you can also go into the component and maybe hide these edges so it looks even better. So this is my uh, favorite method. Uh, but uh, there is one thing I didn't like in this uh, method is um, having to move it up manually every single step on the z-axis, on the blue axis. So uh, what can you do to make that a bit faster? So I'm using the same components. And there is a plugin that helps you with this operations to make them quicker. And it's called uh, Memory Copy. I'm going to leave all the links to all the plugins that I'm going to show you today in the description. So check, in, check them out. And uh, the Memory Copy, when you install it, if you don't know how to install it, I'm going to leave also the link uh, for the video where I show you how to install plugin in SketchUp and where to find them. And uh, the, this, so this uh, plugin memory copy works like this. You just select the original uh, object. You need to move manually the first one. So the first copy needs to be moved manually. So rotate it and then um, move it on the blue axis. And then you need to select the original one, go into context menu and select play it again this is the memory copy plugin and it's activated by pressing this play it again button and then click on the manually moved copy for as many copies as you like so i'm clicking once twice three times four times and i could create endless copies like this and this is a very cool plugin for not only for creating spiral uh, stairs, but also other things. You can also check out my video. I'm going to leave the description below in how to use this, this plugin. And the rest is uh, the same as this one. So you can, you can, you can move. This is uh, the same component. So you can create like another rating here, stuff like that. And you got it. So this is maybe the best method. It's like, it's like the same method like this one, but just with little help of this, with this uh, free plugin memory copy. Okay, and now another uh, three methods with the use of another three plugins. First, I'm going to show you uh, the true bent uh, ver uh, method. So how do you do this? You just create your stairs uh, normally. So let's do this quick. And I'm going to create uh, another component. I'm going to call it step two. And, uh, and then I'm going to copy it. X6 creates six copies. And then I'm going to edit it to make it. I'm going to edit this one to make it. Like this. Okay. And I'm going to create also. Also going to create a railing like this, five centimeters like this. Move this also to create on the other side. And extrude it 90 here. Push pull this one 90 here. And then move these two lines right down here. And then I'm going to take this one out so that I can clean it, clean it a bit. some of these geometry that I don't need. I don't need this and I definitely don't need this one. Okay, so now I can explode all these components and I can delete all of these uh, cool planner edges by using another plugin. Again, link in the description. Just select all Context menu, right click and delete coplanar edges. Oh, how clean is this? And then I just want to push pull this face, 78 maybe, and this face right here. Okay. And now we have our regular uh, stairs. I'm going to create a group. I'm going to move it up here. Uh, but I also want to 
copy it here. I'm going to use using it later. And then I'm going to use my True Bend tool. Again, link in the description. True Bend tool bends geometry. The geometry needs to be in a, uh, in a group or a component, and it works like this. Uh, you just activate it and click here and drag and drag and you can type the angle you want and that's it press enter and it's done how cool is this the only thing you need to remember is that the bend plane so the bend plane that's going to be bent needs to be on the red axis so that's the only thing you need to remember and the second thing why this plugin is called true bend is because it actually this uh, let's call this uh, arc is the exact same size as this line this imaginary line here so this line is let's see it 312 and this arc if i want to measure it let's let's try let's try let's try to see how is it how much is it and this arc that's it so uh, so this is the fourth method so true bend and then there is another method very similar to true bend but uh, okay let me show you here i have a, an arc prepared so this is the arc. let's let's hide this object we don't need it we have an arc that's uh, the same size as this and and i just draw a reference guiding line there's the same length from here to here and then i'm going to use then i'm going to select our object and i'm going i'm going to go into extensions chris former tools shape bender that's how you got to this that's how you get to this uh, plugin again link in the description and you activate it and then you need to select the guiding reference line that also remember needs to be on the red axis and then the target line and then you can toggle the start and the end point with the arrow keys the up arrow key so that the start gets replaced with the end point this is what we're looking for so press enter and practically the same thing we uh, the results are practically the same the other method is practically even easier because you get to choose the size of the arc let's say for example i can show you just just to show you i can scale this arc and i can use the same method as i did before the shape bender tool and again this and this and and the stair is going to be scaled but this way you cannot actually control well the the size of the single step so these are the methods you can choose whichever you prefer and then there are a number of methods uh, to create any type of uh, stairs uh, by just having a 2d version of it and most of them are paid uh, but i did find one that's free and i i can't say it's uh, very good but i just wanted to show you one so that you know that are that there are some extensions that allow you to create step stairs like this but um, i don't actually uh, use them because it's it's they are not that expensive but they are even that useful because uh, no 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 stair is like perfect for you so you need you always want to uh, you would want to change something probably and these are all like already prefabricated with the geometry of their own so railings uh, or i don't know over 
over steps or something like that. But either way, I'm gonna show you one. It's called Maj Stair or May Stair. I don't know. This this one right here. You can check out uh, the plugin in the description, and it works very simply. You just activate it by going into the extensions drop-down menu and you set uh, these informations you set the total height you set the step the stair number and there are some uh, four types of the stairs you can create uh, let's just try type c and then you draw the stair like this And here we go. So, I don't know, uh, not my preferred method. As you can see, it created something, I don't know, weird. But anyway, there are there are some plugins. You can check it out uh, in the extensions manager. And uh, that is it, guys. I hope you liked some of these methods. I hope you didn't know about every single one of them and you didn't lose your time watching this video, even though I know you like to see my face now and then. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Check out my Patreon. I uh, really uh, appreciate the support. And I will definitely see you in the next video. So click like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm making videos rather often. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.